um, for that. So how's the vo volume seems pretty low right now. Am I crazy? It feels like it's pretty low. Let me crank that up a little bit. Okay, the music kind of picks up. Okay, hold on. Well, uh, how about now? Is that better? Let me know, guys, how the volume is, because I'd like for this experience to be uh, great. <laughs> Dude, I'm liking the uh, the interface, uh, interface and everything. Well, that's the thing is, is I'm a big wuss. Like on like on on a good day, I'm a big wuss. But like I'm kind of like in an unstable emotional state right now because of the meds, and that's just adding like a strain on top of it which uh, kind of just like makes it even like five times worse or 10 times worse. Um, you own all the fear games? <laughs> I, I, I do own a fair amount of uh, horror games. And uh, like, like I said, like earlier today, like I was looking at all the horror games we could poss possibly play uh, and I was making a list and stuff and I was looking at them and I, I, I was just like, I just got like so I, I got I really felt like bad like I felt like oppressed and not great and I was like I can't put myself through this I, I, I can't like this is this is this is gonna like this is really not gonna make me feel great at all like I'll I, I was too scared of you know feeling distressed and I mean not necessarily scared about the, the content of the game itself but like just myself like in real life just not feeling great um, yeah, well, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's kind of weird because like every year I do in uh, a, a horror movie marathon with my friends. This year is like the 20th year in a row that we're doing this. Uh, and, but it's not, it's not the same because we're watching movies, horror movies of vastly uh, varying quality. Some of them are garbage, but also uh, we're like 15 people in the room. And kind of joking about the stuff that we're watching. So it's not like I'm like alone, like strapped to a chair watching horrific, like, you know, visuals and stuff. Um, and, and whilst streaming does have that kind of feeling where like a, a, other people are, are watching me play, uh, it's mostly me in my office with the lights closed. So I, I still get the actual impact of the thing instead of like a, a room when I'm physically with 15 other people. So I don't know. It's, it's different for sure. Oh, dude, I'm liking this music. This is great. This reminds... You know what this reminds me of a little bit, music-wise? This reminds me a little bit of, like, the kind of music we would find in um, EVE. EVE Online. I'm digging this, dude. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. Let me just adjust the volume again. I'm trying to find the sweet spot of, like... Because I don't hear what you guys are hearing, right? I hear my own thing. But I'm trying to make it so that my voice doesn't overpower the music too much, but also that you can actually hear my voice. So, yeah, if, there, if, if something is wrong with the sound, let me know. Um, man, this music is great. Night one. The desert's uh, outskirts, Los Hojos. There comes a point in any long drive where your mind goes a little off the road. It's like the flashing lines in the highway hypnotize you in some weird way. Like it's normal to talk to the clouds. Or come up with a name for the undreth Joshua tree you pass in this endless desert. It was officially at that point and so was... I was officially at that point and so was Jojo. Only 40 miles to go. To Los Hojos. To my new life. To my oldest friend. It was like a gift when Savvy called me last week. My life was going nowhere fast and she knew it. It used to be your life, too. Losing jobs to Capra's AI. Juggling a dozen gigs and still coming up short. Getting way too comfortable just being sad. So when she offered to be roomies again this time at her place in the big city, it didn't matter anymore what had come between us. Or what we'd said when we were hangry. All that mattered was the road ahead. That and the battery charge that had set me back 30 coin. Oh, God. Nothing like rolling into the new life completely broke. No problem. This is cool, cool, cool. You're a driver. Just drive. 
If I could pick up even one ride out here, it'd be a, in a better place. Maybe even get a fancy here's to us cocktail with Sevy like old times. I started up Neo Cab. Hello, Lena. Wow. That's my driver rating? Damn, I'm good. 35 credits, I'm gonna assume. Three rides. That's my goal. Ride history. Oh, these are the people that actually rated me in the past. Okay, that's, oh, Capra Cash. Okay, that's what it is. Uh, journal. Look out, Los Hojos. Here I come to pack snacks, toothbrush, pajamas, basically everything. Books plus dad's face. Excited so... Excite, so excite, very yes. Lol. Top Neo Cab driver in Cactus Flats. No, Los Hojos. Moving costs. Boxes, tape, charge, cell bed, cell desk, cell stuff. New outfit. Needed. I spent 33 uh, cash. 324 miles to Sweet Freedom plus Savvy. Okay. Okay, that's my contract pay. Contractor pay. Juice by Capra. That's for recharge. Auto lease. <coughs> okay, pick up request. Oh, well, I'm here. There's a guy right there. Liam Beard. Faster than Shutter Snap. Flaner. <laughs> Love it. So, in case you don't know a flaner, I don't know if that's a thing in English, but flaner means kind of like uh, you're. Uh, you're just like somebody that walks around, kind of not really going anywhere, just hanging out. I don't know what this means here. Oh, this is actually moving up and down here. Weird. Okay. Um, and I'm wondering if these these are like... Oh, oh, dude. Are they out of my range? Insufficient charge. Head to a charging station before picking up this PAX. Oh. Well, I mean, we're going to start with that one. I don't have a choice. For a second, I thought maybe Liam had put his pin in the wrong place. This didn't feel like a convenient pickup spot for anyone. I could barely make him out at first. All I saw was desert and dusk. Then I spotted him, a lone figure dragging what looked like a huge luggage or a small elephant along the way. He got into the car bags first, then squeezed in like he was their sidekick. Hey. Hi, pick up for Liam. You are Liam, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I could feel his anxiety creeping up from the backseat. I can't help it. I absorb that stuff like a sponge. Okay. Yes, thank God. Yes, okay. Sorry about that. Oh, man. Um, all good back there? I thought I spent all day out there in the desert taking photos of the stars in the yellow skyline. I thought I'd lost my memory card. The bastard's smaller than a grain of rice. Why did he keep making them smaller? Damn, my heart's racing. His accent was smooth and musical, but I couldn't quite place it. Definitely not Sutton, California. Anyway, hello, Lena, right? Yes, that's me. Awesome. Thanks for picking me up all the way out here uh, in Nowheresville. Okay, is, I, I hope there's not a timer here. How much charge will it take to get there? Almost all of it. Like, I, I, will, I will be left like a tiny little bit. <clears throat> hey, no problem. I was at it this way anyway. Plus, new cap goes where Capra fears to, to tread. Where are you coming from? 
Cactus flats. Hold on. Oh, two advanced decks. I don't want this shit. That's why I, I, I can't read anything. I don't know that one. Going to the big city on the holiday. More like a permanent vacation. <laughs> this car is carrying my whole life right now. I'm moving. Moving? That's huge. How are you feeling? I don't know. I think I'm... Nervous? I've never been to Los Ojos before. Stop it. This is your first time in Automation City? Is that crazy? No, I mean, yes, moving somewhere you've never even visited. But damn, it's also very cool. Don't sweat it, it's mine too, though I'm just visiting. For work? Sort of, I'm a photographer, or trying to be. I'm taking a year off from my real job to see what I can make happen. A year to travel the world and take pictures. The dream. I don't know if any of these choices matter. Savvy and I had talked about doing something like that after college until I couldn't go. And said she just met a guy, a sculptor, and lived that dream with him. They broke up after a streaming fight in Milan and she came home with a half-finished clay figure of herself. <laughs> she always loved playing the muse. So, what about you? Why hello? I'm moving in with my best friend. I actually haven't seen her in ages. We used to be super close, and then we kind of weren't. Why did that just slip out? I always forget how easy it is to spill your secrets when you're only making eye contact with the road in front of you. For sure, I've moved a lot. UK, France, Canada, now here. Sort of fading in and out of different friend groups, maintaining most of my relationships online. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So why now? What made you make the leap? She asked. All she ever had to do was ask. I just realized that, realized that my life isn't as good without her in it. I love that. Sometimes it's just the only thing that makes sense, right? Exactly. It'll be a fresh start for us. Dude, I'm digging this music, by the way. The music is great. I hope. Yes, this photography thing is sort of my fresh start. So while you're getting the keys to your new place tonight, I'll probably be out snapping pictures of Capra Tower. Capra Tower? Gross. I mean, I hope you get some good shots. Your emotional state affects which option you can choose. Heat flared into my face. Just hearing that name made me furious. Oh, God, look at that. This is kind of glitchy. Um, I, I'm still going to go with that one, I think. Oh, I can't. Do we cover shoot for multinational monster magazine? Hey, whoa, it's just a beautiful building. Sure, I've heard it's very impressive. My hands tied in the steering wheel. I had nothing good to say about Capra. Shit. Yeah, you can afford beautiful buildings when you have a monopoly. When you have a monopoly over the entire tech sector. The spoils of sending out human dignity, right? He shifted in his seat and tried to smile, but it was tight, uncomfortable. Capra. That name carried so much baggage for me. My first driving gig. My only income stream. Before they replaced me and every other driver with auto cars, soulless capsules of glass and plastic. But hey, those things don't need health insurance. Dude, this is this is the future, by the way. <clears throat> I mean, obviously, but this is our actual future. <clears throat> like eventually this is gonna happen. Well, I mean, yeah, if we don't all die, it is very likely future. Self-driving tech and stuff, dude. I'm not saying you need time soon, but you know. <clears throat> hey, is it is it wrong that I kind of want that? I just feel like a future where like 
there's no more traffic ever because every car communicates with itself with with the other cars around and they all kind of they never swerve or make weird shit they all just go they all good fat man <clears throat> I then stopped seeing their logo, which was all over the place. Nearly every passing car was one of theirs. Crawling out streets covered in sensors, collecting data on everything and everyone. Just hearing Liam say the name had my heart pounding in my ears. So I'm noticing a lot of pop-ins for the, uh, the graphics, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, but at the same time, it's a very small studio, so I'm kind of that's kind of par for the course. Everything else is freaking gorgeous, uh, and the music is great. <clears throat> right, you're not a fan. We don't need to get into it. It felt like all the energy in the cab had flipped. He was closed off suddenly, cold. This is exactly why everyone says that talking politics with a PAX is the quickest way to, to tank your star rating. My 4.9 driver rating definitely didn't want me to push him. Oh, God. I don't want to get into it. Of course, you're right. I didn't mean to be so snarky. What had gotten into me? My ackles were up and over. What? A photographer who just wanted a picture of a famously impressive building? It was exactly what had happened with me and Savvy. I got all emotional over something that really wasn't a big deal, and I pushed her away. You're so volatile, Lena. Like I'm looking for reasons to be sad or worried. Like all my bad feelings just slept, uh, leap out of me and poisoned my life when actually everything was just fine. I couldn't let that happen again with us. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. It is a pretty great building. I still couldn't bring myself to praise Capra, even if it might help my star rating. Shit. Well, I guess I'm biased. I've kind of got a history with that whole company. It's all good. I just don't want to talk about it. I guess it's a lot of baggage attached to LO. Trust me, I really do. But I'm not here to pick it up. This week, for once, I'm just a tourist. Well, sorry again anyway. Don't worry about it, seriously. Look, if I wanted to sign and ride with a brainless driver, I'd have called it Capra. You're much more fun. Hey, we turned it around! As the sun went down, I could just make out the first lights of Elo appearing out of the desert, suddenly like a mirage. We were almost there. Also, I would never get into a car with myself, by the way. I don't actually own a driver license, so... The city lights spilled across my windshields as we crossed the Los Hoyos city limits. He pulled out his camera and I heard the shutter click away behind me. <clears throat> I thought about Savvy. No more nights alone. No more longing for change. I was making the change and I was ready. Here I am, Savvy. It's real. I did it. I pulled up to Liam's destination, a modest hotel. Nice, but it had an art to it. You know this is going to be great, right? You're doing something really big, and I think it's going to pay off. Thanks. And sorry again for being so testy before. I'm in, I'm in a Capra town now, and that's that. It's nothing. I've gotten into my share of arguments with cab drivers before. You have? Yeah, with much worse opinions. And listen. <clears throat> I know we've already got a friend in town, but I'll be crisscrossing town in neocabs all week. Maybe we'll get paired up again. I'd like that. He shouldered his luggage and headed into his hotel, waving at me as he disappeared through the doors. I waved back. I guess I've made it. My battery is shit, by the way. We have to go and, and go to the battery thing. Perfect rating! Woo! A ser serendipitous ride with a spirited driver. Welcome to LO. Oh, man. You really say the same. <clears throat> nice. Now in Otterland. 
<clears throat> Hold on. I want to read from the top. Just about to hit the road. Yes. Gonna try to pick up some packs on the way. Packs? Passengers. Gotta earn some coin. Cream. Then meet at your place around 10. Just past Palm Spring Palm Spring in the in the home stretch. What's good, Lena? <laughs> Weight's good. Love it. Bad news went back to Cactus Flats though. Guess where I am. You better be. I'm in the horse. Meet at your place? You mean our new place? Yep. Wait, actually. Come pick me up. I'm sending you a pin. Sure. Yes! Can't believe I get to see you so soon. My rave fav, my literal favorite human. Oh my fucking god. I don't know what H J I H mean. Can't wait, Saviest. How long had it been since I've seen Savvy? Six months. No, a year. It didn't seem possible. Some days it was easy to feel like she was still around because everywhere I went in Cactus Flats was soaked through with memories. Most days that just made me miss her even more. Nobody gets me like she does. Like, really gets me. Being around her made me feel more like myself. Or maybe just made me like it more. I saw her up ahead and my stomach flipped. El Bunny! Saviest! <clears throat> you look amazing! Just smoke and mirrors, you know? Oh my god, did you actually get prettier somehow? Damn, girl! Come on. Whatever you've been up to is working. God, god seeing you again is like... It's like home, you know? Me too. Sorry, could we... Less talk, more room? Being this close to Capra HQ creeps me out. Yeah, I thought it was weird you wanted to meet here. Oh, I was downtown and it's a giant eyesore, you know? Seemed easy for you to find. <laughs> well, now I know where to avoid. Exactly. So... Don't have lights like this back in the flats, right? The way we left things echoed in my head. Heat rushed into my cheeks. Was I turning red? My chest tightened and fluttered like I couldn't get enough air. It really does, isn't it? Yeah, it feels like Telltale. I called her selfish and cried until I couldn't breathe. Right before I begged her not to leave. Was that what she was thinking about too? I'm sorry about how we left things. I just wanted to say... Ancient history, whatever, I'm totally over it. Well, what have you been up to? Tell me everything. Well, I kind of bounced around for a while. Remember that guy we said I could crash with him and his roommates? Definitely remember all you was always call me Lisa. Turned out his roommates were more like his parents. Ah! They were super sweet and their place was nice as fuck and oh my god, so clean. But then his mom gave us matching sweaters for Christmas. I swear I felt myself shrivel into a little ghost right then and there over the eggnog. Yikes. Very. Compared to perfect family time, social activism is way more chill. Just some foggies too afraid of their own shadows to really affect change, but I can work with that. Speaking of... Can't believe we're back in your old steery. This thing knows all my secrets. 
And you know I love Retro as much as the next girl, but... Would you mind parking it a little down the street from my place? People would get really weird if they thought I was pro-car. This is a big issue in my work right now, you know? Oh. Are you... No. Oh, sure. Okay. <clears throat> but wait. Where are we going? What's your address? Oh, yeah. Pull over. You live here? No, I just remembered. I got you a present. Uh... Yep, I'll pull over. Oh, oh no, I didn't get you anything. You're here, like for good. That's enough for me, old buddy. Okay. Close your eyes and hold out your right hand. Um, are you gonna... No, unlike you, psychopath, I will not put a bug in it. That was like three years ago. And yet, it still haunts my dreams. Ha! <laughs> Rest in peace, old caterpillar. Come on, give me your hand. I forgot how tiny your hands were, and now they were always so cold. I should have brought you some gloves. I sh yeah. Size extra, extra small. Yeah, yeah. Jace is always whining about my icicle hands. Who's Jace? She slipped something metallic onto my arm. If you're not going to shut your eyes, then at least stop fidgeting. It tied into a snug fit around my wrist. Oh. Whoa. Thank you. Do you know what it is? It's a bracelet? It's a field grid. It's a 6th gen biofeedback device for your feels. The color and intensity shows your mood, basically the way you feel in your body at that exact moment. You're yellow, which means you're feeling positive. Good night, honey. You need to bed already? Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right, yeah. Probably because of my awesome gift. No. I got a necklace edition. See? Feel good green. Now we can both have, like, total awareness of our emotional well-being. You know, to take care of each other and all that junk. Ah, Sav, yes. It's like the best friendship bracelet necklace ever. Exactly. So, it's reading my brainwaves. Nah, it reads your blood. <laughs> Did it have to be blood? Yes, because unlike people, that stuff never lies. Everything we feel is because our brain has triggered some some chemical to flood our system, right? So this is a little sensor that reads all the molecules as they go surfing through your tubes. Oh my god, I love it. <clears throat> See, you just moved towards yellow, which means you just had a little burst of happy feels. There are four basic colors. Green is feeling good too, but lower energy, like real chilled out. Red is angry, anxious, agitated, and blue is, well, blue. I don't know, I thought it'd be really cool for you to see your colors. People can be so fake, you know? But everyone I know with a field grid is like an emotional superpower. Keeping it real is like second nature now. Even without talking for months, she still knew me so well. She didn't even see how I'd gone off on Liam just now. I'm trying to work on my emotional superpowers, just so you know. I get it. It's just like, it just, just lets you know what you're feeling is real, but that's temporary. Plus now, you'll know when your packs are giving you too much shit. Too blue, and you probably need to take a break. Too red, and then you gotta set up for yourself, okay? 